A sneak peek at a few things to expect from CES. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat TV. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash geekbeat for your free trial membership. I have a few pre-CES announcements for you. A look at some of the things we can talk about before the show floor opens on Thursday. But before I get to those, I want to make sure you know what to expect from this week. I'll be, of course, at CES with four other members of the Livid Lobster team, and lots of people from Revision 3 will be there too. We're all working together and gathering all the coverage at revision3.com slash CES. By the time you're seeing this episode, I'll already be on the ground in Vegas scouting out the announcements and finding the best products. Because CES is so huge, I won't be the only one doing it. You'll also be hearing from my partner, John P. You're already familiar with him from onemansblog.com and his other company, whooper.com. We'll be releasing a few episodes per day, and our bloggers will also be keeping you up to date on the GeekBeat blog at www.geekbeat.tv. Now, something to note. Because of processing time and our desire to get you the information as quickly as possible, our YouTube channel will have the videos before iTunes or the RSS feed. So be sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash geekbeattv. Okay, now let's take a look at some things that people are announcing before CES. Looks like Vizio will be launching a tablet and a phone at CES. Randy Wainick, Chief Sales Officer of Vizio, held an unknown tablet in a Rose Bowl commercial. Oh, freedom to watch the game in the sharpest HD picture. Because after all, details count. Freedom to view it on any of our great new products from anywhere. And the free... The message was that Vizio is giving freedom this year, specifically freedom to watch great quality content on any of their great new products. After that commercial aired, the buzz began. We got a little bit more information. The phone will be called Via Phone and have a four inch screen and the tablet will be called, what else? The Via Tablet with an eight inch screen. Both will be running Android. I'll get a closer look on the floor. Skype is promising to make some video calling announcements at CES. They just released a new version of their iPhone app that gives people the ability to do video calls on the go, not just audio. But wait, there's more. That announcement seems to just be a teaser. You can see a series of videos at geekbeat.tv slash Skype CES where they say, share the moment wherever you are. The videos show kids playing in water fountains or snow, people on the beach, horseback riding, things out and about away from the computer. You get the hint. I'll be at the press conference and we'll get you the information ASAP. Display Link and mobile monitor technologies will be showing off the monitor to go. They know how much people like me love our second monitors. There are studies that show people are more productive with multiple monitors. Remember that when you talk to your boss. Well, they want you to have that luxury while on the go. There are small 7 and 11 inch portable monitors, but this one will be a full 15 inch screen. And they promise it'll be lightweight. It connects via USB. Now, I'm not sure how many people will carry a second screen with them, but assuming you do, the downside I see is that it's a full-size USB rather than mini or micro, which is what everything is trending towards these days, and you'll need to make sure you have that cable with you. More info is at geekbeat.tv slash monitor to go. Now, perhaps there's some really good wordsmithing going on here, but I'm hoping it's as good as I imagine, and I trust Griffin to do a very good job. They've teamed up with Crayola to create something for kids that I'm anxious for my nephew to get a hold of. There are two parts to it. One is an iPad app called Color Studio HD. The second is a custom stylus called iMarker. This is the wording that caught my attention. Imagine a coloring book that morphs and changes as kids digitally color in it. Hmm, my head is imagining some pretty wild and crazy things here. I'll be sure to get a closer look at it at CES. And in the meantime, you can get more information, including pricing at geekbeat.tv slash iMarker. I wonder if Netflix will be announcing anything at CES. They've been making steady announcements all year. Netflix has taken over my life this year. You can watch thousands of TV shows and movies from Netflix. There are several options, but I like to get one movie in the mail delivered straight to me without leaving the house and at the same time stream my content to either my TV, iPhone, or iPad. If you don't already have it, definitely sign up. It's totally worth it. 
Sign up at netflix.com slash geekbeat and try it out for free. Zom will be announcing their new car kit, or safe driving kit as they call it. In it, you'll find a visor clip, a car charger with a cable, and a quick release keychain. We'll track it down and show it to you on video, but unlike a lot of stuff shown at CES, you can actually pre-order this one. And Intel will be talking about Intel Insider, their service to provide you with the ability to rent and purchase 1080p movies. From what I can tell so far, you'll need a core 2011 processor in your computer, coming, of course, in 2011. I'll keep you updated on that one. Two stories that aren't related to CES. The Galaxy Tab gets a lot of love around here. I showed it to you a while back. It's a 7-inch tablet and is certainly worth the hype it's gotten. It was selling like hotcakes at a $5.99 price, but now Verizon's dropped it to $4.99. And they're throwing in $60 worth of movie rentals from Blockbuster and the Samsung Media Hub. If you bought one within the last 14 days, be sure to go buy a store and get that $100 refund. Geekbeat blogger Brody Beta told us about Extra Normal, a service that allows you to easily create your own animated movie. Take a look at this one she created. Hi, Bender. I was just wondering if you knew of a place to find cool new gadgets. Yes. Have you heard of Geekbeat.tv? No, I haven't, Bender. Can you tell me about it? Sure, it's a show hosted by Kali Lewis and it has tons of tech news, new gadgets and apps. Geekbeat.tv even has a blog where they post neat tech-related stuff. Even robots. Holy cow robots. Do you think we could get on the show? Maybe. Oh, how could I not put them on the show? Way too cute. Leave a comment at geekbeat.tv slash extra normal with a link to what you create. One quick note, on Christmas Eve, I told you to check out the entire Bramo Inertia motorcycle clip at onemansblog.com slash inertia, but it wasn't actually there at the time, sorry. But now it is, go check it out. And if you're interested in 2011 predictions from several people on the team here, check them out at geekbeat.tv. That's it for today, but don't worry, your geeky side will be very, very happy this week. We'll be back with more very soon. Now go subscribe to our YouTube channel to ensure that you get the announcements first, youtube.com slash geekbeattv. And I hope you'll join me for our viewer meetup on Friday in Vegas. Details are at callielewis.me slash CES meetup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Ah, <laughs> seriously? Ooh. That's it for today. Why don't you blame me for that, Callie? That'll be cool. Norm. You didn't do her hair right. I told you. <laughs>